we're kind of in that nutritional period when it comes to cattle between calving, but then also getting ready for rebreeding. Dave, there's, there's some things that, that producers need to be aware of, especially with the first calf heifers. Yeah, the first calf heifer is a challenge because you've spent all this time and investment to get them to a, you know, a cow right. uh, with their first calf, all that development costs and so on, and so you sure don't want them to fall out of the herd at this point. Right. Hopefully you've already challenged them from a nutritional standpoint and you've saved back the ones that were pregnant through your uh, heifer development program. There is quite, there, there is a potential for quite a fall off in nutritional in, in that time. There sure, sure is. The two-year-old is the most susceptible uh, to marginal or undernutrition, if you will. Uh, and so that, you know, they have a longer postpartum interval than a mature cow. Uh, pregnancy rate generally is considerably lower. Mm -hmm. And of course, the other important part of that picture is the body condition that they calve in. We always say, try to aim for a six in a two-year-old. As you mentioned, the challenge in a fall calving herd is keeping them in good body condition between calving and breeding. What, what do you recommend for producers who, who are kind of in that gray area Right now, they're, they, they got their eyes on Thanksgiving time whenever they can, you know, start breeding back. So for a, a two-year-old that's, let's say, they start out with a situation where you're maybe grazing mm -hmm. <clears throat> well-fertilized, either stockpile Bermuda grass or just regrowth from a hay field that might have been harvested in, let's, let's just say, July. Right. Uh, that should be pretty good quality forage if you've had some moisture and, it's, and it represents regrowth. Uh, so in that case, if you've got that kind of forage, you can turn those two-year-olds out on as they calve. Um, six to seven, maybe up to eight pounds of some type of either a commercial feed product or a commodity blend of some type that fits in that say 12 to 16 percent protein range mm -hmm. uh, the feed would be 12 to 16 percent protein uh, that's really all that's required from a protein standpoint because that regrowth of fertilized bermuda grass is going to be 10 11 12 percent protein if on the other hand you're in a scenario where you're going to turn out on native rangeland or native grass uh, the six to eight pound range is probably going to be about right for those two-year-olds, but now you're going to have to have a 20 to 25 percent protein product. Again, whether it's a commodity blend of some type or whether it's a commercial product. And uh, the same goes if it's got, if you've had some moisture and you've got some summer regrowth, uh, the digestibility of that forage is probably pretty good. The protein is going to be low. The more picked over it is, um, probably the higher, the closer you are going to need to be to the eight pounds feeding rate. You know, the better quality it is, you might get by for a while at least in that six pound range. When when should producers reassess that and kind of make their adjustments as they get closer to November? Okay, so the the six to eight pound range, you know, you you kind of need to apply that too. The the most important thing is to monitor the yep. cattle. And so as they start to slip, that's when you need to make the decision to intervene somehow, change your feeding program, modify it a little bit. You know, we have a really nice software tool called Calculator that these our extension educators are very familiar with and they can use that tool to sit down with a producer and help them through their specific scenario. Thank you very much, Dr. Dave Lawman, beef cattle specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like to learn more about that, you can go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.